I am John Paul Caffanegro. And I'm Joyce Tennyson, sitting here with my friend John Paul. We've been friends for many years. Yeah, don't know us there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were talking the other night about beauty. And one of the things that I was thinking is that we have one word for many kinds of beauty. Mm -hmm. And it might be useful to have a wider language or at least a wider appreciation, celebration of many different types of beauty, different things are beautiful for different reasons. And I know that we've both in different ways been inspired by, involved in communicating about the importance of why things are beautiful and how that connects to living a richer, more soulful life as well. That's true. For me, uh, you know, beauty really is the center of my life. Um, beauty is it's such a multifaceted kind of concept for me. It includes the passion that I have for life and the yearning I have to live a life that is filled with meaning. Mm -hmm. um, I know Plato described uh, beauty as, you know, the one's uh, the object of one's desire and also possibly the means to transcendence. Mm -hmm. But we all know that beauty can also be uh, disturbing. Um, like in photography, for example, Joel Peter Whitkin's work, you know, it's very beautiful, but it's also disturbing. Or, you know, Michelangelo's David was beautiful and, and disturbing. And was so the David disturbing? Yeah, a little bit, you know, for its time. For and its all, time. For its time. time. So, so I think that, you know, beauty is not just a pretty picture. Mm. Or beauty is, uh, well, it, it is, uh, there are many, many definitions. And uh, I, I'm teaching a workshop next week, and we're actually going to spend a morning. Uh, I've asked them to think about beauty and, and to ruminate about it before they come to class and, and, uh, and in regards to their own life and their own work. And I think it'll be fun to discuss. Absolutely. To dig in a little deeper as to why people think things are beautiful. I know that many times when I look at other people's work, including your own, that when I see that work and it's unexpected, that I learn to see the beauty in other things that I wouldn't have noticed before. So having a camera or having photography is a fantastic discipline to go out and seek beauty in other places, but also the other images that people share kind of expand my horizons, at least with this notion of what's beautiful. Absolutely, and I think as we travel too, we see to different cultures, we see kinds of beauty that enlarge our spirit. I mean, think about how Picasso was so uh, affected by uh, African masks, and that was a kind of beauty that was so new, but and how affected people have been throughout the ages to Chinese art, Japanese art, um, because it, it can enlarge our spirit. Mm. And do you think that's why we seek it out? I do. I have a quote that uh, I use in my class, and uh, it's by George Eliot. And she says, it seems to me we can never give up longing and waiting. I'm sorry. It seems to me we can never give up longing and wishing while we are thoroughly alive. There are certain things we feel to be beautiful and good, and we must hunger after them. And I, I do think that um, my whole life I have hungered after, uh, call it beauty, call it enlargement of the spirit, uh, call it connection mm. to the ineffable. There, I mean, it, it has completely, uh, it's been the core of my life in a way. Mm. And yet it still remains a mystery. It still remains a mystery. And although there are certainly, you know, real principles that, uh, like in architecture where form follows function and you know there are certain aesthetic principles like the golden mean and many you know art historical uh, concepts but in the end it's subjective to a certain degree like why do I like one kind of music and you like another and they're both perfectly you know they've all they, they, they both have an audience and have been deemed worth listening to and all that but they can be very different mm. And so I think that's very fascinating, too. Good, good. Well, thank you for sharing that.